I'll, I'll put it in here, I'll put it over to the side. Okay. We got the fit, you know what I'm saying? This is Gap Factory. Got the pockets. We got these from H&M. This actually goes with another outfit, but you know, we gotta make it work for the fit. And then we got these Carter's slip on brown shoes, but, and then, you know, we got the glasses. Colors by Alexander Julian. These are the glasses. And then you got me, and you can do shit. And right now I'm on this basketball court. You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Anyway, what's been going on lately? Listen, I've been, shoot, I've been putting a lot of content out there, you know, across social media, put stuff on Twitter. My Twitter is still booming. Uh, I'm now opening up where I'm charging for collabs because producers have just been coming out the woodworks wanting to work with me, which honestly, you know, I appreciate it. it the glow up is happening. However, with the high volume, I, I gotta start charging now. So, you know, and that's really what's been going on. Pamela, she got a job, so that's exciting. I know she, she's had some videos, get some good success on her TikTok. Uh, Hef, no, Hefamela. Okay, yeah, cause she got another, she got an Instagram that's Hefamela official, so I didn't remember which it was. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing crazy is going on. Just, just out here living. And these vlogs are about to change in style and aesthetic. So y'all get ready for that because I gotta, I gotta upgrade my style, you know what I mean? But either way, I just wanna say hello to y'all on this Wednesday. And I'm gonna see y'all later. So. We got ice cream, we got some other snacks. What you get? What you get? Show the folks. They trying. They snack people too. We got the okay. vanilla ice cream. You Not know sponsored. Hagen does. Not uh, sponsored, but he's available. Okay. But I'm available. I got the push drink. I never heard of this. Push fruit punch. Okay, push it real good. And we got gummy bears. Ooh, yeah. And these look like fancy gummy bears. I ain't never had this brand. That nice stuff. You know, grown people gummy bears. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we got going on. Cool. And then I got me a Red Bull. Okay, okay. Chocolate ice cream. You know, I'm a chocolate lover. And then. <laughs> we know. Okay, shut up. Uh, and then uh, Airheads because I'm an airhead. But you know. What? Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? What's the one? You don't. Oh, oh no, I'm you not got, dumb. Okay, I'm not an on. airhead. No, 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 no. Scratch that. <laughs> I'm not an airhead. But yeah, I love this snack because it's, it's my childhood. So something good. So something sweet, something fun. It's what 70 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was really hot uh, because we in the south. So 70 in the south, it's 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 hot. All right. Well, over now. Hey y'all, so remember the gummy bears that Jay got? Well, this is us. He's the blue one because blue is his favorite color. And purple is me because purple is my favorite color. Yeah, I know I'm taking over the vlog right now, but look, this is us! Cute! the <laughs> Oh, you know, I still got the fit on. My style has changed a lot, though.
told people on my Twitter that I want I want to work with some country producers. Like people that make country beats. Cause I really love country. I just listened to a song by Colt Ford today uh, called Hood and it had Kevin Gates on it. It's a great song, it's produced by Jermaine Dupree. Anyway, so I wanna I wanna work with some country producers and like pop producers. Uh, but clean stuff, like, I don't want a lot of crazy stuff going on in the song. Um, yeah, but anyway, I, I really want to work with those type of producers because I, I love different types of music, so, um, and I figure if I'm from Georgia, I should produce some kind of country or something sometimes. You know what I mean? Uh, but, I mean, well, I was born in Ohio, but I've lived in, in Georgia forever. So, anyway, uh, that's really where I'm at right now. If y'all want to buy some beats, because that's kind of random. Y'all should buy them now because I got some things that are kind of coming in the works from here to now that y'all are going to want to keep out for it. It might be, it might be a little hard to get these from me like y'all are used to. So, uh, if y'all want to do that, you can go to minifuture.com slash beats. And yeah, shout out to my manager, she created that website. Uh, that's all I got to say right now. We'll give y'all some more footage once we get to our destination. Possibly, I don't know if we will, honestly, uh, for privacy reasons, you know what I mean? Searching up people can't have that. Uh, anyway, well, I'm gonna see y'all later. Peace out. And something I'm doing with these vlogs is really just wanting to make it more aesthetically pleasing. I just want to give y'all some updates of what's been going on. I've just been chilling. I feel like I've been sort of overthinking these vlogs because I don't feel like I'm have a lot of interesting things going on so i guess there there is that part of me that feels like i have to like be doing something extraordinary and things like that um i did go to dinner yesterday with my girlfriend and my parents so that was cool and you know we just had a really good meal um i got some crab cakes and i made a deal with pamela i told her if if she got this uh, shrimp Diablo and I got the crab cakes, I would give her one of my crab cakes if she gave me some of the shrimp Diablo. So we did that and we split it and that was cool. So I gave her my crab cake. Uh, I was a man of my word. And then we also had dessert. And so she had a cheesecake empanada and I had creme brulee, which if y'all don't know, creme brulee is my favorite dessert of all time. Uh, so that and tiramisu, like I love creme brulee and I love tiramisu, so, you know, it's just, it's just no competition. So I had that and that was a really great time, like just being able to spend time with them and be able to enjoy a good meal. It was a new place that none of us had been before, so that was really fun. And I'll be giving y'all more info on what's been going on. I know I said I would talk about it, but um, I'll probably talk about it in the next vlog because it'll be more interesting, I feel like. I don't know. Uh, I might answer it like a sneak peek. Who knows? Anyway, but well, I just want to update y'all what's been going on. Oh, yeah, I made a country, like, trap beat, country rap beat, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so that was fun, and people have been enjoying it on Twitter. And I've been dropping stuff on Twitter, uh, you know, as frequently as I was doing. And something that me and my manager are really focusing on is not worrying about the numbers, which is hard for me because I love analytics. I'm very big into numbers and followers and worrying about that and making sure my content is good. But with that, what I have been doing is... Even though I do know my stats, we just don't talk about it, which has been actually really nice is not talking about the stats. So I'm just putting out content, putting out quality content, and then everything else is, you know, coming together. And today something incredible happened to me. Um, someone created a visual art of me because if y'all don't know on Twitter, I like and TikTok, I was posting a lot of this on TikTok, but I'm switching over the like kind of content I'm going to put on TikTok, but I'm putting this on Twitter heavily, and I put on Instagram, but anyway, I, like, vibe out to my beats, and I, like, you know, bop my head and stuff like that, uh, and someone created a visual art of me, like, they drew me, and it's, like, 
I, I'll, I'll put it in here. I'll put it over to the side over here. It's just so cool because it really says about the impact that you can really have on someone's just day you know like someone really took the time they're already a visual artist so that's what they do but someone took the time to do that for me and that is just really incredible i i was so just overjoyed at the fact that that happened and it really it means a lot to me uh because it just shows that like sharing who you are and just your authenticity and your story can really make someone's day better and that is just super cool to me um so I just wanted to turn this camera on and just talk to y'all <laughs> and let y'all know what's going on and, you know, taking it out of my head that I have to be, like, super, you know, incredible on here, you know what I mean, or make it seem like things are happening that are not. I'm just going to be authentic with y'all. I am getting a haircut tomorrow, so I will vlog some of that, as y'all know. Um, other than that, y'all, I'm just so happy to like be doing my thing and that just having an incredible impact so i'm gonna see y'all later at the barbershop there's nobody here yet yeah i'm just chilling because i just got here the the mall just opened literally so i'm waiting they keep playing around i might get myself a tattoo i'm just kidding i, I just need to get my hair a little cleaned up and ready to go So, my haircut is doing. Look at it. I like it. it. Turned out good. It's crispy. So, that's always exciting. What's up, y'all? It's a party out here. What is up, y'all? I'm ending this vlog just saying good night. It's nighttime over here. And I hope that y'all enjoyed this vlog. I really put some more editing into it some effects and stuff like that just to make it more interesting and really getting involved and showing you how i can evolve my vlog style and everything so thank you for bearing with me on all these vlogs i appreciate all the support and all the comments and i can't wait to see y'all for this upcoming week peace out